after you've created your course in Moodle or had your Moodle administrator create the course for you, one of the first things you're probably going to want to do is create groups within your course. Before we do that, let's quickly make sure it makes sense for you. You want to do groups whenever you have a class that you teach more than once throughout the day. So I'll use my classes as an example. I have government class, which I teach twice every day, and I have modern world history, which I teach four times every day. So for me, this is going to make a lot of sense. Here's why. When I have, let's say, a discussion board where I want students to answer to a prompt and to respond to each other, I'm going to separate that into hours. I'm going to have my third hour respond to other students within third hour, fourth hour to other students within fourth hour, so on and so on. I don't want third hour and fifth hour interacting in this specific case. So I need a group so that I can separate these out. Now, if you're worried about not wanting to always do that, there is an option to have all of your groups interact together. You can simply turn off groups whenever you make an assignment. So if I do want all four of my Modern World History hours to interact, I can do that too, even though I make groups. For government, I have two uh, hours, so maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe I want both hours because they're both pretty small. Maybe I want them both to interact with each other whenever they do a discussion board. Now, I do want to set up groups for my government class just in case I want to use them because remember, you can just choose not to use your groups on any given assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my government groups and show you how that works. Once I get logged in, I'm just going to enter my classroom and we, we see everything pop up. A lot of what we'll do will require you to turn the editing on. This one does not. It doesn't matter if it's on or off, so wherever it automatically pops up, you're fine there. We're going to go to our administration tab. Now, some of yours may not be here. All that's happened is it's on the left hand bar and we've toggled this button right here that says Dock Administration Block. So if I click that, it ends up back here on the dock. That's where I like to keep mine. Doesn't matter. We're going to go to Users, and we see once we click on it, the arrow go down and open up a couple of options. One of those options, and options is Groups, and we're going to click on that. Now I've already created one group, so I'll create my second group. I've got a sixth hour government class, and I've got a second hour government class. I'm going to make the name really simple. Hour 2. You can make the name as complicated as you'd like. It's going to automatically create a group ID number of my username. I'm going to delete that. I don't need a description. I don't need a picture. The only thing I want to make sure I have is my enrollment key. So I'm going to type in my enrollment key and I'm going to really, really highly suggest that you unmask it and make sure that you got it right. I like to keep it really simple. So hour two gets the enrollment key second. Hour six gets the enrollment key six. Really, really easy for the kids to remember and not many mistakes. I'll save changes and now I have two groups. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to unenroll students because sometimes you will have a student that leaves your class. Maybe they leave it semester. Maybe they get transferred into another course. Whatever. You need to get them out of your group. So if I click on hour six, I can click show members for a group, and I've al already enrolled myself as a student. So I want to highlight myself by clicking on my user, click on add slash remove users. You see on the left side it says group members. I'm going to highlight my name again and simply click remove, and I take myself away from the group. If we go back to groups, we now see that hour two and hour six both have zero members. The last thing I want to show you is how students will enroll. So if we go back home, students will get to this page and they will search for your course by entering in your last name into the search courses or whatever your course is named and then they'll click on whatever course they belong to. So my students will click on Chambers Government 2014-2015. Now, I am already enrolled, so I go straight to the course. I'm the teacher, so I go straight to the course. If I were not already enrolled, if I were a student and this were my first time, it would take me to a blank page that only has an enrollment key, and my only option is to enter an enrollment key, and that's where I would either enter 6, S-I-X, or 2nd, S-E-C-O-N-D, and whether I enter 6 or 2nd, that will take me to my different course and that's how the students get in the, into their separate groups in your courses.